Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate aging analysis using Power BI. Aging analysis is an important analysis for any industry. Any company will have customers and business invariably is on credit, especially in developing countries. It is important that this credit is managed well to ensure the continuity of business. Aging analysis helps you to track which customers have pendency beyond a certain limit so that the necessary teams can go and take appropriate action. So aging analysis is a necessity for any business and Power BI makes this very useful to create dashboards so that you can understand where there is more problem and take appropriate action. The data set that I am going to be using is the one that you see on your screen. You have the customer information, you have the due date information and you also have the revenue that is due from the customer. What we are going to do first is we are going to create two additional columns. We are going to find the age that is pendency of these transactions with respect to today's date. So how many days the amount is pending from the customer and then we are going to create different age groups like less than 30 days, 31 to 60 days, 61 to 90, so on and so forth. We will then use all these information to create different types of visuals on a dashboard. Okay, so let's get into Power BI and get started. Let us import the data set to get started. Okay. Uh, the table contains uh, three columns as I showed earlier. Let's load this data. No transformation is required and we can get started with our work. The data is uploaded. Let's click transform data so we can add two additional columns in Power Query Editor. Okay, so we are going to add two additional columns like what I showed. Okay, before adding the additional column, let's change the data type of due date column. It is currently showing a poll number. Let's change it to date. So we are now going to add the age column that is how many days this particular transaction is pending. Okay. For that we will be using the option here. We will select this column. Come here. Come to date. Click age. A new column is being created. Let's change the type to uh, old number. Okay. So that is sufficient. So we have added age column. This tells with respect to today, this particular transaction is pending for 48 days. Okay, the next one is 207 days. The next one is 430 days. Uh, that is more than a year, right? So we have this information. Now let's add one more additional column where we indicate how many days uh, these particular transactions are pending. So I am going to add a conditional column. Conditional column helps us to add conditions like this. See this, let's call this as age group. Okay, that's the column name that I'm giving. So the column name that I'm considering is age. If age is less than or equal to 30, I'm going to call this as less than 30 days. Okay. The next one is again we are going to use the age column if age is less than or equal to 60 right I am going to call this as 31 to 60 days okay. Please note here I don't need to say less than 30 and less uh, greater than 30 and less than 60 because the conditional column is structured in such a way that this is the first condition first if condition right else if 
right that means if this is not true what is the next one that i am considering right let's add additional conditions here we are again going to consider age this is less than or equal to 90 i will call this as 61 to 90 days the next one is again age column less than or equal to 120 and we will call this as 91 to 120 days let's add one more okay again i'm going to use age is less than or equal to 180 okay that means 121 to 180 days the next column is let's introduce less than or equal to uh, 365 that is 181 to 365 days okay and the next one is age greater than 365 right greater than one year right so this is what we are going to be saying in our grouping column okay and let's click okay you see this age group has been created two additional columns have been created age and age group we are going to use age group and uh, customer column a lot because this is the uh, two additional columns that we have added okay very simple right now let's go and apply this okay now we are ready to develop the visual i am going to be using a bar chart which is also called as clustered column chart that is vertical bar chart so let's indicate uh, the revenue in values and age group in axis okay so we have the information that is needed let's check whether it is sum or count okay this is sum only okay uh, count is the number of instances of aging sum is the total value of the aging however if you see here this is not in the ascending or descending order right it starts from 121 to 180 days while uh, the graph itself is in a descending order with respect to revenue i want the x axis to be in order that is it needs to start from 31 to 60 then 61 to 90 91 to 120 then 121 to 180 then 181 to 365 and finally greater than one year i want that order that order is very important right so let's incorporate that in our visual okay how will you do that we need to go to power query editor so let's click transform data we need to add an additional column where we indicate the sorting order right so let's choose uh, a conditional column where is that add column conditional column let's add that and we will call this as sort okay we will use this as sort and if age group equals 0 to 30 uh, we had less than 30 days right not 0 to 30 less than 30 days the order needs to be the output needs to be 1 if the age group equals 31 to 60 days okay then it is 2 if age group equals 61 to 90 days then it is 3 if the age group equals 91 to 120 days then it is 4 if age group equals 121 to 180 days then it is 5 if age group equals 181 to 
365 days, then it is 6. Finally, if age group equals greater than 1 year, then it is 7. Let's click OK. Let's scroll down and see if there are any null values. If you have missed out anything, we haven't missed out anything. Right? Now let's apply and close this so we can continue with the visual. Okay. You see that still the visual hasn't changed. Okay. What we need to do is let's go to this column. We will select this and we will sort this based on the sort column. Okay. Let's do this. Still the visual has not changed. Let's go here and sort axis. Let's choose age group and we will do that ascending. Okay. Now it is come in order. It's starting with 31 to 60, 61 to 90, 91 to 120, 121 to 121 to 180, 181 to 365 and greater than 1 year, right? Uh, there are no values in less than 30 days, so which is why it's not appearing, right? So we need to do all those adjustments to order the x-axis in the way we want, okay? We have created the main visual. Now let's include a slicer. Slicer is available here. Uh, we are including slicer so we can see how this visual appears for different customers. So let's drag a customer here and we will also select the, we will also include the option for select all. How will you do that? Let's come to slicer settings, selection. Let's include uh, select all. Okay. So what you're seeing is select all. If I click customer A, this is pertaining to customer A. If I click customer B, the relevant graph is shown. Right. So let's select default select all. We will add uh, two more visuals to complete this aging dashboard. Okay. Let's add a card visual that tells the total value of the revenue okay the sum of revenue this is sum we will add one more card visual okay copy copy the visual and control v let's paste this so here we will do a count okay that is how many instances of pending cases are there okay so this can be a good dashboard right so you have the total revenue that's pending the number of instances of aging and the aging across different uh, time periods are shown and you can choose customers you know different customers isn't this cool how much time we took you know it's less than 30 minutes right i can format this all the visuals and make it even more colorful, right? Let's try and do that quickly. Let's come to uh, card visuals uh, background area. Okay, we will choose uh, a color like this. We will probably put a different kind of color here, right? And let's also format this area. Okay, let's choose this color. Okay, and let's include a border here. Let's enable the visual border and let's also include a different color, maybe this. Right, so we have the border shown, everything is in order. Let's bring this down.
let's align this properly okay let's add a text box here at the top okay let's minimize this and maximize up to this let's call it as abc companies aging dashboard okay let's increase the font size Let's make it bold and uh, let's incorporate some color here. That's it. We have ABC Companies Aging Dashboard, right? Isn't this something that you can carry for your review instead of PowerPoint presentations? You can carry this interactive dashboard for discussions with your management teams or even with your team members. Let's say you're trying to improve the performance. Instead of having PowerPoint presentations, you can carry this interactive dashboard, right? So if somebody wants to see additional views, you can quickly add an additional column. You can make changes and see the new values, new set of visuals then and there. Right? Isn't this cool? Okay. So that's what I wanted to cover in this session. Thank you.